This is the Philips Sonicare Daily Clean 1100. This is an entry level electric toothbrush from one of the market leading brands within the dental healthcare industry. I've been testing it for a few weeks and I'm here to give you my opinions on it. So I'm gonna get straight to the point here on the Philips Sonicare Daily Clean 1100. It's a perfectly satisfactory electric toothbrush. It does what it needs to do and it's not bad value. Now it would be unfair of me to say that there is anything drastically wrong with this toothbrush because there really isn't. However, Considering the vast array of alternative options out there, the Daily Clean 1100 is a little uninspiring. It's quite thick and chunky, and for not much extra money, you can get a toothbrush that probably feels and looks a bit better, and ultimately performs a bit better in a number of ways too. So it does the job, it's satisfactory, but I think there are better options. So let me look at some of the pros and cons and explain why I think this. So the pros, one cleaning mode built in, nice and simple to use, get up and running, simply press the power button and away you go. You've got a built-in timer to help encourage you brush the teeth evenly and for the appropriate amount of time. You've got this angled brush head, which can really help get to the back teeth and reach areas of the mouth that otherwise might be hard to reach. And from a price point of view, it is good value. There's no denying that. The cons, well, it's quite a large chunky handle in comparison to a lot of the other alternatives. It almost feels like twice the size of most other toothbrushes. That might be a bonus for, for some, um, but for me, it, it just feels a little less enjoyable to actually sort of hold in the hand because of the size of it. There's no battery status icon on the brush handle, so you can't tell how much power is remaining in the battery, if it's on charge, etc. And I just think ultimately, better options really exist. Now, at the time of review, um, there's various different models within the Daily Clean range of electric toothbrushes from Sonicare. Um, the 1100 uh, has two different variants. Now, I've got the HX3412-07 model here. It has the mid-blue colored power button and the C1 brush head. There is also the HX341206, where the power button is pink in color and um, you have a sensitive brush head rather than this C1 Pro Results brush head. Technically, otherwise, they are exactly the same. So just to make you aware of those variants. So let's dig into the design functionality and daily use. So I suppose I want to start with the most important thing and that is the cleaning action. It cleans the teeth really well. I haven't really got any compromises or complaints in that respect. Philips Sonicare, well known for their good electric toothbrushes and this certainly cleans the teeth well. It's a much more gentle brushing experience in my opinion in comparison to the likes of an Oral-B electric toothbrush but if you've used Philips Sonicare before or any other sonic toothbrush this is essentially the same as that. Now the brush heads are slightly larger we've got these sort of more oval or rounded rectangle heads. Now the the angled neck on this brush uh, handle does allow you to get nicely to the back teeth and some of the harder to reach areas but some people may find the smaller round brush heads of all will be toothbrushes to be better and one of the main alternatives to this model if you're not brand sensitive is the Oral-B Pro 2 2500 which I think could potentially be a better buy because of the features and performance for only a little bit extra money. If you do want better features or, or notably battery life I think is one of the big things and overall physical design but you still want the Sonicare brand then you could look at the Easy Clean HX6511-50 as an option as well. So talking of the physical size and design you can probably see here the handle is quite chunky. Now it's sort of cylindrical um, in its design so it fits fairly comfortably in the hand but it's definitely chunkier both in width and depth and feels heavier too. Now it's more of a matte finish to the actual plastic bodywork here so it's not too slippy in hand but there's nothing really to speak of in actual grip on um, the handle. We've got this single power button here that if we press it will turn the toothbrush on. When you turn the toothbrush on it will activate the two minute timer and pacer that is built in and at the end of the two minute cycle it will automatically turn the toothbrush off. At 30 second intervals, you'll get a slight change in the brushing sensation. That'll also change the sound as well. And that's your alert 
to move quadrants of the mouth to try and get a nice even clean to the teeth and gums. Philips Sonicat are well known for producing innovative features and one of the nice things is when you first use this toothbrush, it has an easy start mode so it increases the power of the motor over the first 14 brushing sessions to get you used to the power that these electric toothbrushes deliver. You also have a range of interchangeable brush heads. There's uh, more information on those on our website but they simply push onto the brush handle like so and pull off like so. You can choose the brush head best suited to you but this C1 Pro Results brush head is usually perfectly adequate for most people in most instances. The average brush head will last you three months and you should replace it every three months uh, and on the brush head you will get fading indicator bristles which will alert you um, that it's time to change. Do replace it sooner if the bristles are showing obvious sign of wear or damage. Now the toothbrush handle is water resistant so it means it can get splashed and everything which is good. Don't go submerging it in the bath but a quick rinse under the tap uh, is perfectly fine. There is a rechargeable battery built inside that's all sealed and protected from water so you don't have to really worry about that. Now the battery that is inside is a nickel metal hydride battery which is quite unusual for Sonicare. Most of their toothbrushes now use uh, lithium ion batteries. I'm not here to discuss the merits of each battery technology but I suspect the nickel metal hydride was used to try and keep the actual cost of this toothbrush down. Now it's got a claimed battery life of 14 days. In my hands-on testing I achieved the 14 days. So that's pretty okay and just about passable but is perhaps less battery life than uh, we're used to with most other Sonicare toothbrushes. Many of their toothbrushes last over 14 days. Supplied in the box is a charging stand. It's a two pin charger suitable for UK bathrooms. Works on uh, 100 through to 240 volts. So if you're going traveling, um, you may need to bear in mind that you'll need a plug adapter, but you won't need a voltage adapter because the uh, charging stand accommodates for that. You just pop this toothbrush on the charging stand, fitting the prong on the charging stand into the base of the toothbrush handle. It can take up to 24 hours to fully charge this uh, electric toothbrush battery, so you need to leave it on charge for quite some time. Unfortunately, there's absolutely no feedback in the uh, main body of the, the brush around the remaining battery power left. You've got no battery status icon, so nothing sort of that would shine green to say it's full or red if it was flashing low. And the same is when it's actually on the charging stand. That said, although you get no visible icon, you do get bleeps and vibrations from the brush handle when the battery is low. You'll get three bleeps and a vibration when you've got probably less than five cleaning sessions left from this toothbrush. And then when the battery is really low, you'll get two sets of five bleeps to tell you basically you need to put this on the charger. So it's not all roses in terms of the battery life. It's sort of doing the minimum it needs to, uh, which is perhaps good enough when you consider the price. Now. On the subject of price, prices are always subject to change. I'm trying to give you the most accurate information at the time of recording. The recommended retail price is £49.99, so basically £50. I don't suggest you pay that. You'd be paying over the odds if you paid £50 for this toothbrush. Now, at the time of recording, you can buy this from the likes of Superdrug or direct from Philips Sonicare, but typically you can pick this up for around about £20. So that's well over half price and that is a very fair price for this toothbrush. I would argue you could charge potentially 25 or 30 pounds but at 20 pounds you're getting a pretty good buy. Although for not much more money you could potentially buy some different models like the Oral-B Pro 22500 or the Philips Sonicare Easy Clean model which may give some advantages to you. It's not really going to change too much in terms of the brushing experience and how well it cleans your teeth but it might give you some benefits and peace of mind from a slimmer, lighter handle, the battery information and things like that. When you price this over a three year period as we like to do here at Electric Teeth to try and give some sort of benchmark it works out around about eight pence per day. So certainly not the best price but far from the worst price either. So to conclude then, as my verdict suggested, it's a perfectly satisfactory functional electric toothbrush. I have found fault with it, it's not perfect, but it does the job and you know, doing the job is what it's designed to essentially do. I think for a few extra pounds, you can get a toothbrush that is better, that might bring you a little bit more sort of joy and excitement in actually using it, certainly slimmer, and you may even get ones with better battery life as well. But obviously that is for you to weigh up uh, 
based on what you've seen here. There is more information in a full written review that accompanies this video. Click the link in the description. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.